Hey everybody, how's it going? Octopus here and welcome back to Union Cross. Today, I'm going to be doing the high score challenge for you guys, but with the VIP setup. Just so I can get this one out of the way, because it's the easiest one to make all tier rewards. This is how you guys are going to get 200, or sorry, 2,250,000 score, or 20... 2,500,000. I screwed it up twice. I'm pretty good at this. <laughs> so, we're gonna get top score to unlock all the rewards, getting ourselves the Illustrated Donald using this setup right here. I'm gonna move my head down so you guys can actually see skills activating and whatnot, all that good stuff. So, right here, we got three of the Key Art 9s. Each one has a defense boost. Now, you guys can do this with less than what I'm doing here, but I put more just so I don't have to replay this over and over and over and over again, especially when I'm recording. That way I can save some time in my life. <laughs> so you guys don't need all this. What you do need is a second chance. And that is because of the last enemy. He does buff himself really, really high. That defense boost too will not save you. Defense boost three might save you, but do you guys really want to put a defense boost three on something you're about to throw away. Defense boost twos are always in the Coliseum. Um, eventually they're gonna be more common in other places too. They are the weaker version, but they are still incredibly good. So it does suck that I'm wasting this much. What you guys could do is use one defense boost two and two defense boost ones if you wanna have that many defense boosts. But if you wanna go the RNG route, you guys can just go straight defense boost two on one metal and then second chance one or two on another metal and that's all you need. And you can go even farther than that and just use sleep on a friend metal. <laughs> just using sleep on your friend metal like you guys see here. This is not Totten's. <laughs> I'm laughing so much because I keep bugging him with that. Is because not Totten actually put sleep on his metal for me. It's not guilted, so it's not too bad and sleep's common. But I'm thankful that he would actually just go out of his way to actually help us out. So having sleep on your friend metal, which is Cloudy X for that 21%, equals no defense boost to and no second chance proc if you can put every enemy to sleep every turn. Now that's a lot of RNG, but that's the lowest you guys can go, is having defense boost 2 and a sleep or just sleep by itself. You guys can probably get away with that. So let's do this high score challenge run. I have a total of 63%, 314% medals, and the Cloud EX. Zaldan B is our main damage dealer again because he's just incredible and now it's even worse because these Key Art 9s actually lower speed based defense by two tiers for two turns. Zaldan B setup guys, perfect. I would try to go for a double cast illustrated Bell and Beast here, but you would have to put a second chance on the Key Art 9 and again it's a lot of RNG, but you can probably get a better score out of that just having that time 6 and also the other Key Art 9s would have to have a SP gauge 1 on them just so your setup didn't cost so much. So we're gonna go with the easiest one, the less the the one that doesn't cost as much. Defense boost twos again, you'll find a bunch later on, no matter what you do. Let me just re I always forget if I push record or not, and I got so much stuff blocking the screen that I can't actually see it. So anyways, this is the cheapest way to do it. Defense boost twos will come back. What you guys wanna do is activate key art nine on everything possible. So for the stairs and onwards, you guys can activate every single ability because they will not die by Key R9s. And the trick is guys, do not fuse your Key R9s together obviously, and also keep them at the lowest level possible. You do not want them past level, you don't want them max out. Do not put 100 out of 100. All these Key R9s are at the minimum level, the only experience they have on them is from the skills that I attached. So, you guys can see this is going to be straightforward. I'm just going to see if my RNG will kick in. If you see in the top right, my score there is 2 million, or sorry, 21 million, 585,000. And that's with not defeating the last enemy, the Black Kala, the Black Kala Helicopter Fleet. I, I screwed that up somehow. I don't know how. But anyways, that score right there is well without taking the last enemy down and clearing everything else using the strategy. When you guys do the rest of the run, I'm probably not going to do a full clear unless I take down the Helicopter Fleet in the end, or the Black Copter Fleet. If I don't take down the Black Copter Fleet, then I'm not going to do a full run. But what you guys do for the whole like the whole area in the beginning, you're only going to use Zaldan B for most of them. Some of them you can get away with buffing, but test it, run it. Basically, Zaldan B has to land on everybody, so make sure that you don't you don't actually kill anybody with El Zaldan B's activation on them. So if you don't activate Zaldan B's special on that enemy, make sure he doesn't die. You want to make sure they stay alive. Now this part here is tricky, because um, you could skip, but because 
the buffs carry over all you need is Kyrie to activate and Zaldin B and you're good there you go so that's exactly how it's to look like if you get paralyzed all the way to the next turn then just make sure that you're reapplying the buffs so when you actually get a chance to activate Zaldin B you can do the times I mean the negative seven de defense down in Kyrie's buff you guys want to make sure that the best score is happening so you got to do the most damage possible now these cannons you guys could actually activate I mean not activate anything in the next turn activate everything but it doesn't really matter what you guys have to do here is not kill them on the first turn because they do have a buff already from um, themselves they have a times two speed buff so RNG here you need some defense boost to activate which isn't hard when you have three defense boosts on your keyblade because of those three defense boosts they activate all the time now they're at negative six now I'm just gonna activate the Kyrie and Zaldin B and do that for two turns. I'm just gonna activate this one more time here. I should have done the first two, then Kyrie would have restored all the SP. I wasn't thinking there. But you wanna make sure both of them have negative seven when you do kill them, or you won't get the best score possible. Again, you guys wanna do the most damage possible all the time. So I gotta reapply another buff here, activate Kyrie, and then we're good again. Because that puts that at seven, and seven is the most defense down you guys can do on anything or buff yourself. So he has a negative seven speed defense, activate Zaldin B. And we're going to continue on from here. So we're already at 8,574,000. And we skipped the whole entire first room. And we have all the big score enemies still left. So this strategy is the easiest strategy, guys. Again, it does cost uh, the VIP at least once. You don't have to buy both VIPs. You can buy that one VIP and just use Mickey Brooms later on if you really, really want to. Or you got really lucky with some traits. He's not the best to use Mickey Brooms on. But it's your game, guys. And if you think it's going to help you, go ahead. But I don't recommend using Mickey Brooms on him because there is metals. Like if you pull the Cloud EX, I would use a Mickey Broom on him. But I wouldn't use it right away. I would use it if I had to. If I knew it was going to help me pass. But enough of that. This guy right here, you can actually take out in one shot. I don't want to do that. What I actually want to do here is two turn him. Because he, again, just like the cannons, he has his own defense boost. And if you look right now, we have negative five. We want negative seven. So I'm just going to tap here and hopefully defense boost to activate defense boost one and two activate it. And that's why I threw a one in there just in case defense boost twos didn't activate. And also I didn't want to waste any more defense boost twos. I still have like two copies left so it wasn't that bad. And this is only if you guys want to make top 1000 or at least unlock illustrated Donald. This probably won't be enough for top 1000 but at least get you two copies of illustrated Donald which is pretty much what I want to aim towards helping you guys with is making... 20, uh, 22,500,000. So I'm a million away. I just got to survive like three turns if I did a full clear. I could probably, we can probably even get away with not killing the black helicopter fleet, clearing the whole room, going to him, and at least surviving two turns. If we can survive two turns, that point should be enough and activate our Nova. We might be able to get that 22, but you probably have to kill the black copter fleet. Uh, what are we doing here? This one you have to two turn. This is all RNG from here now. Basically, just buff as much as you can. And then two turn this guy. You want to do the most damage for two turns. Because first turn is not enough. And you don't want to waste your Nova here just in case you're Nova. And there you go. And that's why you add sleep on a friend metal. Because sometimes it activates. Now it's not super necessary on this one. Where the sleep is necessary is on the black copter fleet. This is just bonus. It's gravy. We don't have to rely on defense boost or second chance triggering to actually kill this guy. Which sometimes defense boost doesn't activate. And then second chance doesn't activate. And you can restart all over again. And that wasn't even the toughest enemy. So we still got two more. So that sleep really, really does help out, guys. If you do have someone that's not going to deal with Cloud EX, ask them to throw down a sleep and see if they're nice, like Tyrant, because that guy's awesome. So anyways, uh, this one, again, it's all straightforward. Just two turning them. Very simple, very easy. Uh, if you have the right medals and the right skills. If you guys do not have Attack Boost 3 Max on your Zaldin B, I recommend putting Attack Boost 3 Max. If it's not guilted, see, Defense Boost 2 is inactivated, but Second Chance might, and it doesn't. So I gotta restart all that again. But you guys get it. Um, that's basically the whole high score challenge run. You just keep doing that until you defeat all those helicopters and then go clear the rest of the room. Or you guys can clear the rest of the room and just go to the helicopter fleet and try to at least survive three turns and do as much damage as possible and you might hit that 22 million i doubt it i'm not 100 percent on that all i know is that i'm at 21 and it's like right beside 21 8 all i need is like 700 000 more and that was only from one turn damage on the black copter fleet that wasn't even fully taking them out so i'm pretty sure fully taking them out will give us 700 000 easily since other enemies are giving us the same amount or less a little bit less 
But anyways, guys, I hope that helped out. Um, it's not a full clear because, again, it's a lot of RNG. It's second chances, defense boost, and sleep proccing. But the Black Copter Fleet, I believe you have to kill them in four turns. So having uh, your Nova really high, having sleep, having defense boost 2, all that activating on the last enemy will really turn out good. Alright, so that's pretty much everything, guys. Um, the place I'm in right now is, I think, 300 or top 300, I think, at the moment. I'm not too sure. Let's just go check real quick. So with that, we are in rank... 314th place which is 21,585,000 again that's a million away from the main reward of the top top so basically if you unlock 22,500,000 you guys will get yourself two illustrated donalds and that is basically how you guys do it with the vip and if you have zaldan b with attack boost max it doesn't have to have the sp gauge too but it does help on other high score challenges and this one as well but not necessary to use your attack boost 3 max and sp gauge 1 that we have right now in the avatar boards just use an attack boost 3 max on zaldan b and it should be fine if you want to use them for basically everything at cheap cost then sp gauge 1 on him is not that bad but there will be better medals for that skill so hopefully that helped you out 22,500,000 is possible. It's just going to take me more RNG runs. And I was using defense boost all for not defense boost all, but defense boost on all. My Kyrie 2 had defense boost 2 on it, but I put a second chance on it just because of that black copter fleet. Again, I could try to rely on sleep instead of second chance, but the more RNG that there is, the more skills I want to put to reduce that RNG. So hopefully that helps you out. There is other ways to do this, but this is just one simple way that most people might be able to do it and hopefully i helped you guys out but as always guys thank you so much for watching keep on smiling and i'll see you in the next one